Akatsuki is one of the most fearsome organizations in the Naruto anime, but not all its members are equal in strength. Akatsuki was the most feared organization in Naruto. Originally founded by Yahiko, it was turned into a criminal organization after his death. Feared far and wide, Akatsuki comprised of rogue ninjas from different villages. These included some of the strongest, most fearsome fighters in the entire series. Each member of the group was very powerful and had unique abilities in their arsenal. The group had several Keke Genkai users which made them difficult to deal with, yet the members of Naruto's Akatsuki weren't necessarily equal in terms of strength. The Akatsuki is one of the most well-known anime organizations. It was founded by Yahiko, Nagato and Conan to promote tranquility because they didn't want other people to suffer as they did. Unfortunately, fate wasn't on their side. The group suffered a major setback when Hanzo demanded that Yahiko kill himself. The ninja wanted his dreams to come true, so he walked toward the kunai that was being held by Nagato. This particular incident changed the organization forever. It was turned into a haven for ruffians who would help Obito achieve his goal. Each member of the Akatsuki was blessed with powerful abilities, which made them a threat to every ninja. With that in mind, the list has been updated to include the strongest techniques of each member of the Akatsuki. At number 15 we have Kyusuke who could use lava release. Kyusuke was among the original founding members of the Akatsuki. While being unnamed in the manga, Kyusuke was given screen time in the anime. He was also known as Swift Foot Kyusuke, which indicates that he was very agile. In the anime, Kyusuke could also use lava release. He was killed by the combination of Obito and Zetsu. Strongest ability and biggest feat, Kyusuke was killed before he could make any kind of valuable contribution to the series. His strongest ability was lava release, but his expertise over the Kekei Genkai remains unknown. At number 14 we have Zetsu, proficient at infiltration. Zetsu was the weakest member of the Akatsuki. He specialized in infiltrating different places and gathering intel. Throughout his time in the organization, he was never involved in a serious fight that would show his fighting capabilities. In the end, Zetsu was just biding his time so that he could resurrect Kaguya Otsutsuki. He had no real powers and instead mainly acted as support for others. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Zetsu's ability to manipulate other people around him was second to none. For years, he controlled the actions of people without them ever finding out. Zetsu's biggest feat was successfully freeing Kaguya Otsutsuki. At number 13, we have Juzo Biwa, former member of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist. Juzo Biwa is used to be a part of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist. He left the village and became a rogue ninja and eventually ended up joining the Akatsuki, where he was partnered with Itachi Uchiha. His acceptance into the group shows that he was a very strong ninja. Juzo and Itachi were chased by the fourth, Yagura, and the fight ended in a disaster for both sides. Yagura launched a tailed beast ball toward Juzo who tried to deflect the attack, but it backfired terribly. Juzo ended up being impaled by his sword, which led to his death. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Juzo did not get enough screen time to showcase his abilities. If one were to take the anime's content into consideration, he was quite resilient as he managed to survive Might Dai's attacks, who was using the Eighth Gate. At number 12 we have, Hidan was a missing ninja from Yugakure who joined the Akatsuki and teamed up with Kakuzu. Kisame called the two of them were called the Zombie Duo, as they were almost unkillable. Hidan was immortal and used the blood of his opponent to subdue and kill them. His immortality made it very difficult to fight him. However, despite his immortality, Hidan didn't make the most of it. He was eventually defeated by Shikamaru Nara. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Hidan's most powerful ability was the curse technique. Death controlling possessed blood. Hidan used this technique to take control of Asuma's body, ultimately killing the hidden leaf Jonin. At number 11 we have Daidara who could produce explosive clay objects. Daidara was the youngest member of the Akatsuki. Initially, he wasn't ready to join the group, but Itachi defeated him and forced him to join the organization. Daidara was a proficient user of explosion release. With his special molding clay, he could create all kinds of shapes. Daidara also created a way to bypass the Genjutsu of the Sharingan. His rashness limited his thinking capability and stalled his growth as a fighter. Strongest ability and biggest feat. There was a reason why the Akatsuki sought out Daidara. His talent to create different kinds of bombs was unparalleled. Daidara's strongest technique was C0. He used it as a final resort in his fight with Sasuke, and he almost managed to kill Uchiha, who narrowly escaped due to his quick thinking. 
At number 10, we have Shin Uchiha Expert Medical Ninja. Shin Uchiha was one of Orochimaru's test subjects. At some point, he became obsessed with Itachi Uchiha and decided to create a new Akatsuki by himself. He believed that peace was the biggest hindrance to the evolution of mankind. Shin Uchiha was a powerful fighter who was armed with the Mangekyu Sharingan. With his Mangekyu Sharingan, Shin was able to manipulate tools that had a special mark on them. He was also apt at using medical ninjutsu. Strongest ability and biggest feat, Shin Uchiha was quite arrogant, as he believed that his Mangekyu Sharingan would enable him to take down anyone. With his telekinetic ability, Shin was able to stab Naruto with Kusanagi. At number 9 we have Kakuzu who possessed various hearts. Kakuzu was one of the oldest characters in the series. He was the partner of Hidan, and together the two of them formed a formidable duo. Like Hidan, Kakuzu was immortal as he had several hearts. He was sent to assassinate Hashirama Senju, but the attempt ended in failure. Kakuzu could use several nature releases as well and could even use his hair to stitch back parts of his body if they were ever severed in battle. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Kakuzu's ability to steal the hearts of other people and use them for his own benefit made him a dangerous foe. Kakuzu managed to survive a fight with Hashirama, which is undoubtedly his best feat. At number 8 we have Sasori Master Puppeteer. Shooting to fame during the Third Great Ninja War, Sasori gained the reputation of a notorious ninja and earned the nickname Sasori of the Red Sand. He was a master of puppetry who could even turn humans into puppets. Sasori managed to turn the third into a human puppet, which is a huge achievement considering that the latter was the strongest leader in the history of the village. It took the combined efforts of Sakura and Chiyo to finally bring down Sasori. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Sasori's ability to control puppets with finesse made him a dangerous opponent. And on top of that, he had access to some of the most lethal poisons. Sasori's biggest achievement is taking down his third leader without any help. At number seven, we have Orochimaru, a member of the Sanin Trio. Orochimaru used to be a fearsome criminal whose mere presence was enough to strike fear into the hearts of people. He became a rogue ninja after Hiruzen found out about his inhuman experiments. Orochimaru was one of the Sanin, who made a name for themselves in the Second Great Ninja War. Orochimaru had knowledge about almost every kind of jutsu, and because of that knowledge, he developed new jutsu and perfected many old ones. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Orochimaru lived through the era of various powerful ninjas. Over time, he amassed a great deal of information, and eventually, he found the jutsu to become immortal. Orochimaru's biggest feat is surviving a fight against Naruto, who was using his four tails form. At number six, we have Kisame Chakra Reserves that rival the tailed beasts. Partnered with Itachi in Akatsuki, Kisame defected from Kirigakure and became a missing ninja. Kisame wielded Samehada, one of the legendary swords. This weapon possessed the frightening ability to absorb chakra. Kisame had incredible chakra reserves, which led to his moniker, Tailless Tailed Beast. He was able to overwhelm several Jinchuriki with ease. Kisame has many noteworthy feats to his name, including getting the better of Asuma and capturing Jinchuriki. Strongest ability and biggest feat, Kisame was a no-nonsense ninja who would see to it that the mission was completed at all costs. Kisame's most powerful ability was being able to absorb the chakra from other jutsu. His biggest feat is surviving the onslaught of Guy, who was using the Sixth Gate. At number five, we have Conan the Paper Angel. Conan was one of the three hidden rain orphans whom Jiraiya trained. After Yahiko's death, Conan took care of Nagato. She was a very powerful ninja who specialized in origami, using it in her fights against her opponents. Conan was a perceptive person who managed to find out a way to counter Obito's space-time ninjutsu. She was also able to overwhelm Obito in a fight, and the latter only managed to survive because of the Izanagi. Strongest ability and biggest feat? Conan is among the most underrated characters in the series. Her most powerful ability was called Paper Person of God. With the help of this jutsu, Conan nearly killed Obito. At number four, we have Pain. The six paths of pain were created by Nagata Uzumaki, who used chakra rods to manipulate the bodies to fight for him. Each body had a different ability of the Rinnegan, and their vision was linked to each other.
A single attack from Tendo Pain wiped out more than half of the hidden leaf. Naruto needed all the effort and luck he could muster to bring down all the bodies of Pain. If Nagato was fit to fight himself, he could have killed Naruto very easily. Strongest ability and biggest feat? The six paths of Pain were extremely powerful. Each body wielded the Rinnegan, but they only had one ability. The strongest ability of the six paths of Pain was being able to absorb ninjutsu. While Tendo Pain was able to destroy a chunk of the hidden leaf, it doesn't compare to what Nagato did to Killer B and Naruto. After being reanimated, Nagato was able to take on both Jinchuriki, and he was nearly successful in killing them. At number three, we have Itachi Uchiha, prodigy who slaughtered his clan. Itachi Uchiha was seen as a prodigy of the Uchiha clan. From an early age, Itachi's skills were visible to the entire world, and it seemed he was destined to reach the top. But because of Danzo's plan to massacre the Uchiha clan, Itachi ended up as a rogue ninja. Itachi had awakened the Mangekyu Sharingan in both his eyes, which allowed him to use the Suzanu. In addition to the Suzanu, Itachi could also use Amaterasu and Tsukuyomi, strongest ability and biggest feat. Itachi was extremely knowledgeable about the Uchiha clan's forbidden techniques, as evidenced by the fact that he could use Izanami. With the help of this technique, Itachi was successful in defeating Kabuto, who was equipped with various Keke Genkai and the Sage Mode. At number two, we have Obito Uchiha, one of the Uchiha clan's last members. The world presumed Obito dead after the Third Great Ninja War. However, he was saved by Madara Uchiha, who wanted Obito to do his bidding. Obito had the Mangekyo Sharingan, which had a unique ability called Kamui. Using Kamui, Obito could send part of his body or other objects to the Kamui dimension. He could make parts of his body intangible, allowing attacks to phase through him. Obito also knew the forbidden techniques of the Uchiha clan, such as the Izanagi, strongest ability and biggest feat. Obito was a cunning individual and he was able to start the fourth great ninja war due to his ability to manipulate other people. During the war, Obito gained the Rinnegan and later unlocked the powers unique to the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. With such enormous power, Obito managed to overwhelm nearly the entire Shinobi Alliance. At number one, we have Sasuke Uchiha is the second strongest ninja in the entire world. He played a pivotal role in the Fourth Great Ninja War, and he was responsible for the Shinobi Alliance's victory over Kaguya Otsutsuki. However, before the war started, Sasuke was actively seeking revenge against the Hidden Leaf. He joined the Akatsuki, albeit not officially, and even carried out a mission. He went to collect the Eight Tails for Obito, and he almost ended up losing his life. Sasuke's role in the Akatsuki was brief, but nonetheless he made an important contribution. Strongest ability and biggest feat. Sasuke Uchiha gained the Rinnegan in his left eye after Hagoromo shared some of his power with him. The Rinnegan allowed Sasuke to overwhelm Madara Uchiha, and later it helped Team 7 seal away Kaguya Otsutsuki.